The Archer represents the next evolutionary step in artillery systems. Its development aimed to create a more mobile variant of the FH-77B field howitzer, featuring an extended firing range. The initial exploratory work to integrate a 155mm-L52 ordnance from the FH-77B onto a wheeled chassis began in 1995, resulting in the prototype FH-77BW-L52. This prototype was built on a 6x6 Volvo A25C articulated wheel chassis. The project for this artillery system commenced in 2003, with trial versions of the Archer tested in 2005 and 2006. Initial orders came from Sweden and Norway, each purchasing 24 units for a total of 48 systems. Several other nations also displayed interest in acquiring this artillery technology, indicating its promising design. The first Archer howitzers were successfully delivered to the Swedish army in 2013. However, during the same year, Norway withdrew from the project due to financial constraints. As of now, Sweden stands as the sole operator of this advanced artillery system. In 2023, plans were revealed to provide Ukraine with 12 Archer howitzers for defense against the Russian invasion, though this number was later scaled down to 8. Moreover, the British Army announced its intention to acquire 14 Archer artillery systems in 2023 as a temporary replacement for their AS-90 howitzers. The Archer builds upon the FH-77B 155mm field howitzer, boasting a longer 52 caliber gun for extended firing ranges. It incorporates a rapid automatic ammunition loading system, with a maximum firing range of 30 km using standard high explosive, he projectiles and 40 km with rocket-assisted he projectiles. Additionally, the Archer is capable of firing Excalibur extended range precision guided projectiles, reaching up to 60 km, compatibility with bonus precision guided projectiles is also a feature, with the bonus offering a range of 34 km and carrying two intelligent anti-tank submunitions. The Archer achieves a maximum firing rate of 8 to 9 rounds per minute and supports multiple round simultaneous impact MSI, firing. This capability allows it to launch up to 6 shells in just 30 seconds, each following different trajectories to hit the target simultaneously. With an onboard ammunition capacity of 20 rounds, the self-propelled howitzer can halt and prepare for firing in a mere 30 seconds, making it operational again in the same short time frame. This stands as a significant improvement, as the FH-77 series field howitzers previously required approximately 10 minutes to in place. This rapid redeployment timeframe aids in evading counter-battery fire. Additional features include the Lemur remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun for self-defense and smoke grenade launchers. The Archer's crew consists of four members, including the driver, commander, and two operators. In emergencies, the system can be operated by a minimal crew of two, driver and operator, with remote operation from the cab. The cab and ordnance are safeguarded against 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery shell fragments. The automatic fire suppression system protects essential components. The cab also includes NBC protection and can withstand mine blasts equivalent to 6 kg of TNT. The Archer artillery system is mounted on a commercially available Volvo A30D 6x6 articulated hauler chassis. This vehicle incorporates a run-flat system, enabling it to move even with all wheels punctured. Furthermore, the Archer can be transported by military aircraft like the Airbus A400M. A dedicated ammunition resupply vehicle is responsible for reloading the Archer. Each self-propelled artillery system is paired with one resupply vehicle, and reloading takes approximately 8 minutes. If needed, resupply personnel can manage the reloading process independently. Each Archer battery is also accompanied by a support, maintenance, vehicle, responsible for refueling and basic upkeep. In 2019, a new Archer version emerged, based on the MAN HX2 series truck with an 8x8 configuration. Notably, 
Sweden had already ordered several MAN HX2 series tactical military trucks in 2014, with deliveries commencing in 2017. An iteration of the Archer was proposed for the U.S. Army's MH-155 program, using the HEMTT high-mobility vehicle with an 8x8 configuration.